It was a season to remember for MMCRU as the Royals made a strong playoff run in 2023 for the team. It's in search for more. They're up next for two a days. MMCRU ended its campaign with a 7-3 record and a one-score loss to Class A state runner-up Woodbury Central in the second round. The Royals collected its most wins in a season since its undefeated state championship season when the program competed in eight-player football. Despite losing prolific quarterback Jonah Peterson and top wide receiver Kyler Bork, head coach Kyle Oswald and company are bringing back vital players that play both sides of the ball, such as rushing leader Brayson Mulder and top tackler and pass catcher Jace Calling. MMCRU aims to ascend to the next tier. We've been on the cusp for far too long, and last year was a great uh, movement in the right direction and so we're just hoping to use that as a foundation to continue to build off of. Uh, we lose a lot of talent but we bring back a lot of talent and and so uh, I'm hoping that last year's example is uh, just a standard that we've set now. The Royals will host Cherokee to start the season on August 30th. The Braves handed MMCRU its biggest loss last year with a 51-23 Cherokee win in the season opener. Now for a look at the full Royals interview as well as exclusive sit downs with over two dozen other Siouxland High School football teams, check it out on our website SiouxlandProud.com as well as the Metro Sports TV YouTube page. Also, stay tuned for our 30-minute special airing on Monday, August 26th at 6.30 p.m. 